everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Kayla Roach, this is Taz, and today I'm going to be setting up a bioactive enclosure for my red-eyed tree frog. my tree frogs enclosure, I'll be using the 12 by 12 by 24 inch Exoterra terrarium. Since red-eyed tree frogs are an arboreal species, I will be using an enclosure that favors vertical space over horizontal space. For my drainage layer, I will be using Hydroton, also known as clay pebbles. This is my favorite material to use for my drainage layer because it is so lightweight and porous. I like to rinse my Hydroton before putting it into the enclosure because it's often quite dusty. Doing this step helps remove any extra loose particles from the drainage layer. The purpose of a drainage layer is to reduce the buildup of infiltrating water by allowing the excess water to drain out of the overlying soil. In order to ensure the success of this drainage system, I need to make sure that the soil doesn't fall into the drainage layer. So I'm going to use fiberglass mesh screening to provide a barrier between the soil and the drainage layer. Since this is a brand new setup and has not yet had the chance to develop its own colonies of beneficial bacteria, I decided to give it a kickstart by using some filter water from my aquarium tanks that are already well established. These beneficial microorganisms will reside in the drainage layer as well as the soil and will create symbiotic associations with plants, promote plant growth, and overall soil health. The very important element of my substrate is charcoal. Charcoal is incredibly beneficial for soil. It increases the soil's ability to retain nutrients, prevents mold and odors, improves moisture drainage. I could go on and on. It's incredibly beneficial for plant and soil health. The majority of my substrate will be comprised of organic topsoil. In this tub, I have a mixture of topsoil, peat moss, leaf litter, and so on. And there are tons of dwarf white isopods and springtails in it. I'll be adding loose coconut fiber, cypress mulch, and sphagnum moss to my soil blend until it is a nice thick layer of substrate. And now the fun begins. I'm talking about hardscaping the enclosure. For this process, I'll be using a variety of cork wood and driftwood. Some of the plant species I'll be using are snake plant, pothos, moss fern, and a small bromeliad. I rinsed away the existing soil, the roots, and the leaves to assure that the plants are clean and free of any fertilizers. And now for my all-time favorite step, which is planting the enclosure. A 
Another type of plant I'll be using is moss. I'll be placing the moss across the driftwood and the corkwood. Moss is a great terrarium plant because it helps stabilize humidity levels since it retains moisture so well. It's also beautiful and very aesthetically pleasing. I'll be spreading a layer of leaf litter across the bottom of the enclosure. This will help sustain healthy microorganism populations by providing them with nutrition and shelter. Another species of invertebrate that I'll be including are powder orange isopods. And finally, before introducing my tree frog to this enclosure, I'll be misting it down. I always treat the water with the Reptisafe water conditioner. If you enjoyed this video, then please like, comment, subscribe, and ding that little notification bell. Then you'll know every time I post a video. If you enjoy videos relating to herpetofauna and invertebrates, then this channel is definitely for you because I've got lots of them. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.